As students everywhere are heading back to school, it's good to remember that breaking some school rules can also mean breaking the law. I'm Larry Bodine, Editor-in-Chief of Lawyers.com, with some information on plagiarism and what it could cost you. Plagiarizing is taking authorship for someone else's work and holding it out to be your own original creation. And now with the internet, cutting, pasting, and plagiarizing is easier than ever. But it's just as discredited and punishable by law. For example, Fareed Zakaria, the writer and TV host, was suspended by Time Magazine and CNN in 2012 when they discovered that he had plagiarized an article in The New Yorker. And in a famous case from the music world, George Harrison ended up paying more than half a million dollars in damages for plagiarizing the Chiffon song, He's So Fine, and using the melody for his song, My Sweet Lord. That case was in the courts for 22 years. You may think that just lifting a few lines off of someone else's online work is a far cry from a best-selling musical hit, but it's still wrong and you can face legal consequences for violating copyrighted work, especially if your paper is published in a school or academic journal. You and the university could be fined. Copyright violations fall under federal law, and an infringer could be liable to pay penalties of up to $150,000 for each work infringed. And if you stole someone else's work, you'll not only pay for your own attorney's fees, but the other side's as well. Even if you aren't sued, you'll most likely face disciplinary proceedings at the school. And that can be reflected on your academic record. This is going to irreparably hurt your future, harming your opportunities to get into college, grad school, or getting the job of your choice. I'm Larry Bodine, and I'm glad that we've covered this in your homework. And I want to wish you the best of luck at the start of the new semester.